Poultry Upholstery here, and today we are going to install things in New Vegas to make it run in Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, this may not be necessary, and if you have Linux, then you can just run it with Proton or Proton Experimental or whatever, and it'll work just fine. But for all those, I recommend NVSE and 4GB Patcher. Regardless, I will be showing two methods of doing this. The first one involves a D3D9 performance fix, and then the other one involves DXVK. But to start, we need NVSE for Gigabyte Patcher. You can get NVSE off of GitHub or the Nexus. You can get the 4 Gigabyte Patcher off of Nexus. The first method involves the D3D9 performance fix. This is off the Nexus. And the other method involves several other things, including one tweak, but really updated. It involves New Vegas Tick Fix, DXVK, and the New Vegas Heap Replacer. So let's get started. If you are new to the Nexus and you want to know how you download a file, you click Files, and then you click Manual Download, and you go from there. So now that, now that I'm assuming you have all these wonderful files, uh, let's get started. So first you minimize your browser and lob it into the sun, and then you open your downloads directory. So first of all, let's open a new tab and navigate to where we have New Vegas installed. You can also do this by clicking on uh, properties of your game in Steam and then open or browse file location. So in Windows it's C, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Fallout New Vegas. If you're in Linux, it would be Home, dot Steam, Steam, Steam Apps, uh, Common, Fallout New Vegas. So anyway, now that you're in here, this is your root directory. If you ever see a mod mention installed in the root directory, that's what this is. This is the root of New Vegas. The data directory is this subdirectory here, and so forth. So for the first mod, we will be grabbing the uh, illustrious script extender. So extract it, and you have all these files. Copy them, paste them. If you're updating it, you'd be overriding it. If it's new, then obviously you wouldn't be overriding anything. So that's uh, script extender. One thing to note is you need Visual C++ Redist. You should already have it installed, but if you don't, or you're not sure, just get that and double click it. It's on the Nexus mod page under requirements. Are you sure you want to cancel? Yes. And if you don't believe me, then we can go right here and x86 Visual C++ Redistributable. So now that you have VC Redist and you have NVSE, or XNVSE, I should say. Now we grab the 4 gigabyte patcher. So grab this, go into the New Vegas root directory and paste it. If you haven't gotten it before, you wouldn't be prompted to overwrite. Then you just double click this, and then the window appears off of the screen, and it's patched. If you're a Linux user, it would be slightly different. You would have this file here, I believe it's a shell script. And you can just double click it in the GUI, or you can go in the terminal and do change mod a plus x, and then uh, dot slash to execute it. So now that you have 4 gigabyte patcher and you have NVSE, I recommend that if you're going to be doing method 2, which is the better method, open your new Vegas launcher right now and check the box for windowed mode. Make sure that windowed mode is enabled for one tweak. So now that we've done that, let's look at the two methods. The first method is the D3D9 performance fix. This one. The way you install this is you extract this archive. If you have 7-zip, you can right click 7-zip, extract files, and extract it here. And you're met with this D3D9 DLL. Now you'd copy this, and then you would paste it into your New Vegas root directory. I'm not going to do this, because if you do this, you can't use DXVK. So, that's method one. Now on to method two. Method two, you do not use the D3D9 performance fix. Instead, you use a couple other things that will have 
a similar effect, but it's better and it's far more compatible with mods. So to start with this, uh, here's my incredibly lengthy guide I'm writing up for TTW v3.4. And right now, this is a little chain of things. So we have NVSE and we have 4GB patcher. Now we need one tweak. So, let's uh, go right here. I've already downloaded it. Yay. So extract files, extract it here. And we open the folder. And we see, if you're new to modding, you may see some of these mods. When you extract them, it says NVSE, plugins, and then you see this. So if we go to our New Vegas root directory, you see that we have a data directory, and then we have NVSE, and then we have plugins. If you do not have the plugins directory, create one. And inside here, we have a couple things. I've already done this in the past, so when I do this, I am overriding the files. So, it depends on what you want to do. If you haven't actually installed this before, you wouldn't be prompted with that. Another thing you can do is you can use Mod Organizer, and you can install. You can install by clicking this icon and then installing from file, and then you'd have it here. So that's another way of doing it. That's probably the better way nowadays. That way you can check what you have here, but that's just one of the options you have. So now we have one tweak installed. We have. We have NVSE, we have the 4 gigabyte enabler, and we have one tweak, but updated. So now we need New Vegas Tick Fix. That'll fix the 62 or 64 hertz stutter issue if you have a refresh rate higher than 60 hertz. So note this. These are the requirements for New Vegas Tick Fix. So I've already downloaded it. We go here. Here's New Vegas Tick Fix. And these two files are our requirements. This is the Visual C++ redistributable, and then this is the DirectX end user runtime setup. So first of all, double click this, it'll be the same as XNVSE. We already have it installed. And then for DirectX end user runtime, I already have, I already have this installed, so you would click I accept the agreement, you sell your soul to Microsoft, and you hit next through the wizard, and then you finish. It'll take a couple minutes to install depending on the speed of your computer and the type of drive you have, if it's an SSD or a hard drive. So I've already done those. You would go through those if it's the first time installing this. And now that you have both of those squared away, one thing I should note is if you're a Linux user and you want to have Visual C++ Redist, you'd open Pro you'd run Proton Tricks, select the Wine prefix for New Vegas, which I believe is... Uh, I'll edit this out. Uh, 22340. So you go into that and then you'd see you'd select VC run 2022. But anyway, we have New Vegas tick fix. We actually have two files here. We have New Vegas tick fix and the INI. So we're going to extract both of them. Here is as we see we saw earlier NVSE plugins. Copy these and paste them in your plugins directory. And now that you've done that, go back. And then we have the NVTF I and I. Same ordeal. You copy this and then you paste it into plugins. You can also install this with something like Mod Organizer. And now that we have NVTF, let's recap. So we have XNVSE, 4 gigabyte, one tweak, and NVTF. Now we need DXVK and the heap replacer. So how do we install those? Uh, right here. So extract DXVK. And we have this. So just copy this and paste it in your root directory, and that's it. And then for the last one, we have New Vegas Heap Replacer. So extract this. Open the file. Highlight both of these and copy them. And then you're going to paste them into here. And that's it. And now if you want to run your game because you've patched it with a 4GB patcher, 
you can run it by selecting the follow nv.exe you can run it off of the play button on steam or if you have a mod manager like mod organizer 2 you would select new vegas not launcher not nvse new vegas because this is the patched 4 gigabyte address aware executable for your game and then you click you click run and you run the game well that's it so hope it helps and let me know if you have any concerns in the comments i'll be making some linux based tutorials for some of these things too mainly nvse and 4 gigabyte enabler and i'll be making the uh, tale to wastelands v3.4 tutorial which is also where this guide is uh, kind of geared towards. This took several weeks to make. So you'll have a good one.